Hello. Um, don't know if anyone is actually watching yet. Oh. Um, can't quite figure out how to work all of this stuff, but I'm going to do the best I can. So, hi. Um, I'm Rob. This is, uh, I go by the name of Raw Calls, um, when I perform. And I am playing tonight um, for the uh, Korea Sounds record label. They've got a night called Despatch, um, which is streaming over on their um, page. I'll add some links and stuff to this at some point later on, so you can all check that out. Um, haven't done a live stream in quite a while, been over a year, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and figure out how to do all this again, and it's been a bit of a struggle, but I think I figured it out, and I'm hoping this is working. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a test run, really, and I thought, what better thing to do than to show what sort of gear I am um, uh, using. Oh, hello, Jonathan. <laughs> Sorry, I can see that you're there. Hi, dude. Um, um, so yeah, so basically, um, I'll give you a quick overall. So this is a Bastille Micro Granny sampler, a granular thing, makes all sorts of crazy, weird and wonderful noises um, that you can screw around with. Um, so that's I'm using that as my main sound source tonight, and then I'm splitting that off two ways. Um, so to the right, I've got um, got it going into this effects chain, and then to the left, I've got it going into the um, boomerang looper. Um, from the looper, I've got it going into this um, Behringer Echo Machine, which is just out of shot, I think, for you. Um, and so I've got a um, signal coming out of that going straight into the mixer, so you've just got the sort of echoed um, boomerang, and then I've got another signal which is going round into this, which is um, absolutely incredible machine called the uh, Make Noise Straga. Um, if any of you are into this sort of stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you are, um, you probably know exactly what this is. Um, uh, designed uh, alongside Alessandro Cortini with Make Noise, and um, spent a lot of time. Um, saving super hard so I could get myself one of these because I was like, I love his stuff. Um, haven't got any make noise gear, haven't got any Euro rack stuff, but I thought, you know, a freestanding synth like this would be perfect for me. So um, this is its first sort of live outing tonight. Um, so if I start talking about this lot first, um, so I've got um, a looper, going into a, I, don't, I never know if it's Hotone or Hot One, um, but anyway, they're little tiny pedals that are cheap and cheerful, but they're actually pretty cool, um, but this one's a Harmony, which is like a pitch shifter thing, um, then into a Crush, which is like a granular um, distortion-y sort of thing, then into Digitech um, Delay, and into Behringer Reverb Machine. Um, my idea kind of behind this was I see some um, videos um, on YouTube about Chase Bliss audio uh, mood pedals, um, which are cool, cool as hell, but so damn expensive for me anyway. Um, and I was thinking, right, well, they're cool. They kind of, the effect that goes in, they sort of um, like take a, l take a little bit of what's going into it and then they loop it, and then you can kind of um, just mess around with it, delay it, all sorts. So it creates this little drone that goes on underneath the main signal. I thought that's such a cool idea. So this is kind of my version of trying to figure that out, basically. So you've got the main sound kind of coming through this way, and then this way underneath, I, I can either loop the entire segment that I'm playing and just have it like that, or I can kind of... Um, layer up different bits of it to to kind of create a sort of weird um, sort of droney type um, effect um, which I can then mess around with using all these other pedals. So um, let me see if I can give you a example of that. So if I start this off...
so that's just a basic um, signal going through that um, and obviously I can run the looper which kind of gets a bit crazy and then if I just do it at sort of random times Turn this off, you can hear what I'm left with. Kind of all a bit screwy. Um, then whack it through a bit of pitch shifting, knock it down nice and heavy. And then if you chuck on the delay and the reverb. Things start getting nice and washy and sort of crazy. And obviously, if you want to really screw with it, chuck on this bad boy. Get all granulated. Weird. So yeah, that hopefully on the right hand side of tonight, tonight's um, sort of performance. Oh, just turn down the mic instead, one more, oops. Um, let's turn that off. So then down the middle, like I said earlier, is where I've got the boomerang. Um, looper going for it. So let's just see if I can sort of uh, so 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 with this I can set up three tracks at once. And the way I'm doing it tonight is um, you create one main loop, um, and then the following two loops you can um, turn w when you hit them. It starts recording from the beginning of the main loop and stops recording at the end of the main loop so whatever you do for this one will play over that one in its entirety um so yeah so yeah so you can kind of chop in and out of that but let's give an example i'm just going to put the mic down while i mess around with this so bear with me a minute Probably not the best sample to use, actually. Hold on. Go back to this one again. Bear with me. Here we go. So that's all logged into the main loop here. And then... Um, what can I chuck in over the top? Oh, I had some, some verses. So if I hit this one, you'll see it will start flashing and then it will go completely red when it's starting to record. And if I hit it again, it will then turn off at the end of that loop, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, now recording if I hit it again it will turn off the recording function as soon as it gets to the end of this loop you can kind of hear that's still going there so I can kind of then repeat that process down the line um, I can also stack more stuff on top of that as well um, Yes. 
listen you can hear I've got the high and low voice going over the same track there. It's just the tone of that one off. Right. Yeah, pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I can, I can sort of add all the way up to three different things going on, but like I say, I can stack on top of that as well, um, which is pretty cool. So we've got a basic bit of music there going on. And like I say, I've got that going straight into the echo machine here, um, which just gives a tiny little bit of delay, really. Not not a great deal, but just, just enough to sort of uh, make it a touch nicer. And it allows me to split, um, split out of there. So like I say, the boomerang is going directly into um, the mixing desk so I've got a sort of drier signal and then I've got another one coming through here which is going into the Strogo which is where things get really kind of crazy. I could spend ages telling you all about the different parts of it and stuff like that but there's loads of videos on YouTube that would do that far better than me so go and check some of those out but I'll just um show you kind of what it does so if I turn the boomerang down and then the striker up you can kind of hear the signal going into it So we've got various delays, decays, filters. Which is really cool. Um, it's got its own built-in drone that you can add to it. So you can barely hear what's uh, what's being fed into it anyway. That's so cool. And you've got these little packs things that you can join with hands. Which is pretty mental as well. I love this thing. Um, barely scratched the surface with it. Yeah, like I said, completely. Really, I have no idea what I'm doing with it, truth be told. You can patch stuff up, which I will probably try and do tonight, but I don't really know exactly what it will do. It will bound to make things go silly and crazy, which I kind of like. I kind of like the fact that I think when they designed it, it was designed to not really be that understood, you know, to kind of be expressive and like you're not really too sure what you're going to get out of it. Um, and I've definitely achieved that because, you you know, you can you can find one sound out of it and it'd be killer, but you're never going to get that back again because it's just, there's so many variables, it's insane. But um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to messing with stuff tonight for that. Um, so, I think that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of the gist of what's going on. Let's see if I can... Uh, so, if I turn everything up, you should be able to hear what everything sounds like kind of together. Hopefully. Um, is that it gets a little bit kind of rule of sound like that. Yeah, 
Fox anyway. That's it. That's pretty much the the, the run for. I hope uh, hope it's been um, remotely um, or even just slightly informative, and I haven't rambled on too much. And um, I'm really hopeful that it's gone through all right and has streamed okay. Um, very much looking forward to um, performing tonight. I think the music kicks off at six thirty, I believe. Um, some amazing performers like I say I'll stick a link in the video afterwards so you can um, check everyone out prior to that um, I'm on uh, I think I'm on yeah I'm on last um, at 10.30 so um, hopefully I won't have consumed too much uh, um, wine by then um, so yeah but mind you it might help me chill out a bit <laughs> um, so yeah thank you very much for uh, checking this out I'd like to say thank you very much to Stuart from Korea for putting on tonight um, bless him he's come down with Covid which is proper shit but um, like a trooper he's going to be uh, instigating this stream from his uh, bedroom tonight um, and being a real hero so thank you Stuart much appreciated um, and yeah I look forward to seeing you all tonight. Um, it's going to be a wicked evening. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Bye-bye.